okay in this video i'm going to show you how to transform the data to the from the flat file to the excel file but before we go through that thing let's actually try to see how to export the data from the sql server to the flat file so i ha have this data already here in the customer in northern customer i am just going to export this data but let's go and export the data from here to the flat file let's say this is next and i'm going to select the this thing the flat file i'm going to select say let's say customers open it call them in the past row as you have seen next in this i will write down a query select i do not put all the records so i will say select from customers where country equals to usa that being done let me pass it and let's go to the next one in this column delimiter i will use a semicolon and i'll move to the next and next and it's finished so i have got the 13 rows transferred now let's start a new add a new package and we will say rename it Sometimes it creates a problem, but it will come up as you can see. So renaming it, I will say uh, flat file transfer. Okay, you can rename it in a small. I just got it the capitals. Let's bring a data flow task here and let's double click it. Create a new flat file connection. Uh, I will say it customers and let's go and select the I'll go to my data file where I collected the customers okay this is customers column in the first row column semicolon as you can see I connected I created with a semicolon and as you can see all the fields are listed if i do not want all the fields to be going to the excel or other other destination i can remove it from here but in this case i'll just select all and now i can bring the flat file source here bring the flat file source double clicking it as you can see columns are there preview the data you can see so far so good except when you go to the customers double click it go to the advanced there is one column that's address has to be 60 not 50 and that being done again you have to open it and it will correct it and you have to now you can bring the excel destination but let's see what happens when i try to send the data to the excel destination i can say new close i have this file the same file i always use uh, normally okay and i will create a new one i will say it's not going to work i know because it's going to create an error i will give you the reason why cast data now create okay now i can select the cast data here and i can preview it create okay mapping is so far so good now what happens it says customer id cannot be converted between the unicode and non-unicode data types oh that's a big problem isn't it let's just delete it and let's bring the data conversion 
part of it. I can bring the data conversion transform. I can connect this, connect this thing to the source, and I will select all of them. Now, as you can see, it creates a copy alias in the other one. You can rename it if you want in this because this is only uh, for the video purpose. I will not rename it and just I will go and change everything to the Unicode string because it was saying that uh, it cannot convert. So I am trying to change it to the Unicode string. So once I have got it changed to my data type so it should be able to pass through without any problem. We go to string and let's keep on doing the for the rest. As you can see, Unicode string is there. I'm going to click OK and now I am going to pass it to the destination now what happens is if you see the mapping you will see there is a big problem this, is, this mapping is all wrong that is why we are getting the error in the first place this is mapped to the original columns now we have created another columns from the destination that also we have here now we need to delete these connections now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for these columns. I'm going to align it with the, my new copy of the. Now I can drag this one because this one is with the Unicode. So I will just map it to the correct things. Once I have mapped it, I should be able to get the correct data and I can go to the connection manager and I can see the preview say OK and as you can see that the data has gone correctly from here to the data in cast data and I'm going to execute this thing and as you can see all the data has gone I'll stop it and as you can see in the cast data we have all the 14 rows connected to the united states that's all that's how you actually move the data from the flat file and there was also a conversion from the x from the flat file to the excel and also there was a conversion that took place and in this video we also saw how to export the data relating only to what we want rather than everything that's all.